Hello everybody and welcome back to this tutorial and what we are going to do right now is we are going to introduce ourselves to something called dictionaries in Python 3. Now what we saw previously is we saw lists and tuples but right now this is something different. Uh, this basically what a dictionary is in a Python is it is a collection of many values just like a list but in the dictionary we actually have two separate types of values one of those are keys and other ones are values and they're all separated by two dots. Now I will show you just in a second. So let me open up my idle right here. Uh, just go right down here, type idle. And right here, I will show you a simple example of a dictionary. So let's say we call it our underscore dictionary will be equal. Now the syntax for actually opening the dictionary is this curvy brackets right here. Now they are not normal brackets, they are also not square brackets. These are some different types of brackets. I call them curvy, not really sure how to call them. Uh, but these type of brackets actually uh, reference to Python 3 that we are using an actual dictionary. Now as I said before, the dictionary has two types of values. One of those are keys and the other ones are the values themselves. So the first one, the first value will be a value key which we can simply just, let's say we use five as a key and the value of five will be five as an integer. Then you separate comma. Let's say we use a second element, which will be three, for example, which is going to be a key for three integer. And the two, which is going to be a key for the two integer. Whoops, yeah, I actually mistyped this. Here should be two dots and not a comma. So let me just copy this paste it right here and instead of two dots I'll specify simply uh, instead of comma I'll specify simply two dots and this will work okay so once again keys in this dictionary are five three and two and the values are in this dictionary are five three and two as integer digits okay now in order to actually access a certain value you need to specify dictionary name and key such as, for example, let's say we want to specify a value of integer number five. In order to do that, we will need to specify our underscore dictionary. And in the square brackets right now, that is how we specify the actual element. It is the same as in the actual list themselves. We need to specify the key to the value that we are searching for. As we said before, we are searching for the integer number five and its key is five written as a string. So we'll just type here five and you can see the Python 3 interpreter will return number five back to us. Okay, uh, let us try with a different one. So let us try with two. So our underscore dictionary and in between we need to specify the key for integer number two it will return two, okay? Uh, so right now we can also use it, uh, we can also use it basically in printing statements if we want to, such as for example, uh, let's say we want to print this, so print, open and close brackets. And right here, let's say we want to print, there are, and then space, we want to add dictionary. We use the key, for example, three right now, so three. Uh, plus glasses on the table, for example. So let's add dot right here and let's do something like this. Let me just see what the error is. Yeah, we called it our dictionary. We didn't call it dictionary. So let me just copy this. I will just add our in the statement itself. So just go right here, add our. Okay, so yeah, once again, the value is actual integer and we can't concat strings to integers. So we need to actually convert it to a string before we actually copy it. So go right here, add string. And at the end, also add the bracket. And you can see right here, there are three glasses on the table. So we can also use dictionaries in our print statements if we want to. And right now, let's take a look at a simple program using a dictionary. What we are going to do is we are going to write a program that is going to have a dictionary of uh, different people and their different exam marks. So the key would be a name of a certain person and the value would be the mark that they received on a test. 
Then we will prompt the user of the program to enter a name for a person that they want to check the mark to. And then we will print out the exam mark that that person got. So let us close this. So I will restart it. I'm not really sure why I did that, but it doesn't even matter. Let us just go right here, open this up, and let's start off by creating our dictionary. So exam, let's first of all type right here, Python program. Uh, let's say we call it exam marks. So it's simple as that. Let us save it. So go right here. We have our Python programs folder exammarks.py, save it right here, okay, and we can start coding. So exam underscore marks will be the name of our actual dictionary. We need to use these curvy brackets right here in order to reference to the Python tree that we are using it. And right now let us specify some names and different marks. So Jake, we'll use uh, usual names, got A. Now, of course, I didn't mention it, but the key and the value can also be a string. So we saw previously that the value was actual integer, but you can also make it to be a string. Comma, then let's use, for example, Jack got, for example, D as an exam mark. Uh, the Jane, for example, got uh, B and Adam failed the test and he got F. So let us just type it right here, F. So this is our dictionary that consists of people's use, uh, pardon me, not usernames, of people's names and their marks on the test. And right now let us print something like this. So uh, enter a name of a person you want to check the exam mark for. Simple as that. Oops, check right here. Okay, you want to check the exam mark for, and then we will basically just use a variable called person name to be equal to input, and then we will just type here name. Simple as that, so name. Just like that. And then, first of all, what we want to check out is whether the user of this program actually typed anything. So if person name person underscore name is equal to none. Uh, we want to break out of this program. And if it is not, so if name is, or not is, pardon me, if name in exam underscore marks. So if that name that the user specified is in the actual dictionary, we will print uh, exam mark for and then we will add from the dictionary, or pardon me, first of all, we'll add the person name for person name plus is plus, and now we will add from the dictionary, so exam underscore marks, exam marks, and we actually need to set the uh, key right here, and the key will be the person name that the actual user inputted. So the uh, plus exam marks for, and in the brackets we specify the key and the key is the person underscore name and with the person name key we will get the value which will be the exam mark okay else since if the name is not in the actual exam marks and pardon me it is not name it is person name so else we want to print uh, can't seem Oops, can't seem to find results for, and then we will concat the person name, uh, letting know that the letting know the user that that name is not in our database or basically in our current dictionary. Okay, so let us save this. Save it right here. Let us run it. Break outside of the loop. Okay, not break. I just want to take your exit. We don't want to break. Run module, save. Right here. So enter name of person you want to check the exam mark for. Let's go with, for example, Jack. Exam mark uh, for Jack is D. So let's check if that is correct. It is correct. So let us run it once again. Run module. Uh, let's check for the Jane. Exam mark for Jane is B, which is also correct. 
Now let us check for a name that doesn't even exist, such as, for example, uh, let me check what name we did in code right here, Jessica. So Jessica is not here, so let us just type it right here. It will say, can seem to find result for Jessica. So simple as that. So this is just a simple program using dictionaries, uh, just so you can understand it a little bit better. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we will continue coding and explaining dictionaries in the next tutorial. Hope I see you there and take care. Bye.